Hello again. Uh, in this segment, we're going to talk about what sort of width of table you need. And this is really a question which is really down to personal preference. There's a few um, key pointers I'll give you, um, but the best thing is to talk to a specialist about this particular area. What I've done is I've got three of our uh, um, affinity massage tables to contrast the different widths and the different strategies you can have. The first thing you need to work out is really how tall you are and what treatments you're going to do. If, for example, you're not very tall, and by saying not very tall, I would say under five foot four, you really need to consider having a slightly narrower table. Particularly if you're doing things like sports remedial massage, it's more critical. Because if you think about if you're doing sports and remedial massage, and you have to do apply a lot of pressure you're having to lean over. If you've got a very wide table, you're gonna to have to lean further to get in, say, around the, the, the spine, the lumbar area. You're gonna to have to lean a lot further and you'll be putting a lot of pressure on your back if you have a wide table. So that's the first thing. So if you're having to lean too much and you're not very tall, then you really need to bear that in mind. So it's better to go for a narrower table. The second thing um, is what sort of treatments you're gonna do. So if you, for example, you were going to do more holistic treatments, and you weren't very tall, say if you still were five foot four, you can get away with a slightly wider couch. So for example, here I've got our Affinity Comfort Flex table, which is more of a spa table. And because you're not having to do, apply so much pressure, you're not having to lean and stretch and, and really exert yourself so much, you can get away with a slightly wider table for that. So you can see that even with the same height, the treatments that you're going to do affect greatly the width of the table that you need. Now, a lot of people say, um, Spencer, but what about the comfort of my clients? Because if, I, you know, if I've got a very, very narrow couch and a big client, how they're not gonna feel very comfortable and they're gonna feel um, you know, a bit unsafe on the table. Again, you're gonna have to strike a balance, particularly on portables. Um, and certainly the use of the face cradle with the um, armrest that we profiled before really gets you out of trouble because they're not going to put their arms by their sides they're going to put it in front of them and through the, the arm slit which is great because then, then it feels like it's a wider table but there's another strategy to get around that and, <clears throat> and that is by using a contour table and what I have here is our Affinity A table and as you can see this is different to the other tables in as much as it's, it's wide at the top and bottom but it has this sort of contoured cut in here now the beauty about that is it, it does allow your client to then spread out much more but then still allows you to get really really good access to the lumbar area and therefore putting less strain on your back so talk to your specialist about what is the best width for you and certainly unless you're six foot five avoid a table which is sort of 30 inches because you know, you're going to be straining too much. Those are American spec tables and not really useful for the UK. So bear that in mind. The next thing, the final thing to bear in mind, really, and again, it's for guys, for you guys out there that aren't that tall, is how you're gonna move this table around, particularly if you're being mobile and, and, and doing proper portable treatments. When your table is folded, as I'm about to fold here, what is the width of the table suddenly takes on a different dimension because it becomes like a suitcase and, and virtually like your inside leg measurement. So you can see, this is, a 20, this is our Affinity Aluminium, which is a 25 inch table, really good for the clients that are not that tall. Because say for example, this is 25 inches and my inside leg measurement was 26 or 27 inches, it does mean that I can actually lift it okay if I then took a different table and it was our standard width, which is 27, and your inside leg measurement is 26, you can see that you're having to lever the table a lot more to get it upstairs or to move it around. And that will feel a lot heavier as a table than a narrower table, even though the weights might be identical. So that's why I'm saying talk to your specialist, but that should give you a feel of what you ought to be looking for when you're shopping around.